Just take a screen. Yes, sir. Okay. So in the last session, we guys have seen this transfer of input tax credit under section 18. Now today we are going to see one more session. Sorry, one more section that is uh, for apportionment and uh, settlement of tax. Settlement of apportionment of tax and settlement of funds. So this is point number 5.4 and here we are talking about uh, tax wrongfully collected and paid to central government or state government. If the amount of tax is wrongfully collected by the um, authority and if it is paid to the central government as well as state government, in that regard there is a certain provision which is made for cancellation of uh, wrongfully done amount. So here this particular section is basically made for two uh, understand this how it is uh, wrongfully made and what sort of action will be taken against this wrong uh, collection so this is what this section is named like this tax wrongfully collected but paid to central government or state government not only they have collected the tax but also they have paid they have made an apportionment of uh, igst to central government as well as state government as we know that uh, the amount of indirect taxes is always distributed among the central government and state government. So whether it is, you know, correctly collected or wrongfully collected, but the amount, if it is wrongfully collected, then certain provisions are made for this kind of wrong action, which is taken by the authority. So according to section 19 of IDST Act 2017, explains the wrongfully collected and paid to central government or state government as below. The extract of section 19 of IGST Act 2017 quoted below. So there are two provisions they have made as far as this wrongful collection of tax and uh, paid to central government as well as state government. Yes, and there don't forget the provisions one will like. There are those provisions we are going to see now. So as far as those two provisions are concerned, provision number one I'm going to read here. And after that, uh, I will explain that provision number one. And then I'll go for provision number two. Just look at the provision number one. A registered person who had paid integrated tax on on a supply considered by him to be an uh, interested supply, but which is subsequently held to be an interested supply, shall be granted refund of amount of integrated tax so paid in such manner and subject to such condition as may be prescribed. So there may be a question in the mind of you guys. And the question is, how that wrongful collection is taken place was whose mistake was there was that a mistake of dealer was that a mistake of authority or what so see uh, uh, government or authority is not going to collect the tax directly uh, that particular dealer has to collect the tax from the customers and he has to pay that particular tax on behalf of the customers to the government on that particular gst authority so there is no role of uh, government, direct role of government to, uh, of collecting the tax. There is a role of uh, registered person who is collecting the tax. And uh, that particular person is going to pay the tax on behalf of customer to the government. So what happened here exactly? If you look at the first uh, one half line of this particular provision, you may understand everything. What they have said here, just listen. A registered person who has paid integrated tax on a supply considered by him to be an interstate supply but actually that was or actually which is subsequently held to be an interstate actually that supply was interstate but that particular registered person considered that supply as interstate whenever it is interstate igst is applicable if we go for interstate yes gst and cgst both are separately applicable but that particular person which is called as a registered person wrongfully considered that is interstate instead of instead of intrastate tarata tara intrastate supply consider karayta hota pan tene chukun intrastate kela intrastate kela mhanje igst applicable jala jab to intrastate asta tar igst cha prashna nahi hota so this is happened because of the registered person he has done wrongful entry he has his consideration was wrong and this is what the amount of tax is wrongfully paid to the central government as well as state government so in this case what will happen whatever amount he has paid wrongfully to central government or state government 
he is liable to get that amount the amount will be granted refund to him and uh, for that there is one particular manner there is one prescribed procedure to get them so this provision uh, provision number 1 talks about if it is considered interstate instead of intrastate then there is a uh, opportunity of that particular person to get it back in the form of refund but while getting that refund there is one certain procedure and there is one certain uh, conditions which are prescribed by the gst authority so this is for first provision now we are moving uh, on the second provision here and the second provision is is like this if uh, or sorry not if a registered person who has paid central tax and state tax or union territory tax as the case may be on a transaction considered by him to be an intrastate but which is subsequently to be held an interstate supply shall not be required to pay any interest on the amount integrated tax payable listen so here whatever provision number 1 we have seen this second provision is vice versa of uh, first provision ya apan pehli provision pehli that cha virudh hai same means totally differ totally opposite than the first one in first case that particular person considered intrastate as interstate here interstate is considered as intrastate so here in case of intrastate there is no question of igst there is a question of uh, you know state tax central tax or union territory tax whatever is applicable if we go for interstate two taxes are applicable payable for example that is central gst or sgst if it is yeah, if it that particular state is not a state if it is a union territory then uh, ut gst is applicable so if it is paid so that amount there is no need to pay the interest on the that particular tax paid by the government actually here igst is applicable but wrongfully they have paid central tax state state tax and union territory tax so in that case so whatever the amount of tax they have paid there is no need to pay the amount of interest on those amounts so this is for wrongful collection of taxes as well as paid those taxes to central government as well as state government and this we can have studied under section 19 of igst act 2017 so this is for section 19 so we have done with section 19 here i hope you guys have understood this now we are moving on unit number 6 and uh, this is my prediction tomorrow we are going to complete everything udya plus eleva samvela ase so this uh, miscellaneous unit number 6 is miscellaneous and in this miscellaneous we are going to talk about five different sections so six different sections and those six different sections are section 20 21 22 23 24 and 25 so here we are taking a brief note about those five six sections according to according or under the category under the topic of miscellaneous and that miscellaneous is your topic number 6 just look at this what we are going to see here so here in this uh, first provision that is section 20 or provision according to section 20 we are going to talk about application of provisions how the provisions are applied and uh, what are the you know conditions to apply those provisions those also we are discussing here so just go through these provisions which are basically made for topic number 6 which is miscellaneous so there are six provisions and those six provisions we are going to see one by one so see the first provision that is section number 20 we are talking about and uh, that section 20 denotes for and uh, you know it is dedicated for application provisions application of what that they have given so see section 20 of igst act 2017 explains application of provisions of central goods and services tax act as below so here what sort of applications we are going to see we are going to see the application we are going to see the application of provisions of central goods and services tax act 2017 ek minute hello sir bole ki mathe ek lecture suru hai sir ho ho 12 10 parant hota ho 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 
बर 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 मी फोन करतो हो फोन करतो ओके सो हिअर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऍप्लिकेशन ऑफ प्रोव्हिजन ऑफ सेंट्रल बोर्ड अँड सर्व्हिसेस टॅक्स ऍक्ट टू थाउजंड सेव्हन्टीन सो वॉट आर दोज प्रोव्हिजन एज इट इज सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सो अंडर सेक्शन ट्वेंटी दे हॅव टेकन सम सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रोव्हिजन विच आर लाईक सब्जेक्ट टू प्रोव्हिजन ऑफ दिस ऍक्ट अँड द रुल्स मेड देअर अंडर द प्रोव्हिजन ऑफ सेंट्रल बोर्ड अँड सर्व्हिसेस टॅक्स रिलेटिंग टू वॉट no doubt they have made provisions but under section 20 they have taken some provisions relating to the following items khalil ghatkan sandarbhat teni provisions ja kelle hai ta section 20 madhe ghetlele hai so what are the provisions are made under under this uh, central goods and services tax act 2017 those are covered under section 20 of igst act so what are they those are scope of the supply so here they have Uh, you know uh, explained about or talked about a scope of supply under section 20 similarly they have they have been talked about composite supply and mixed supply time and value of supply input tax credit registration tax invoice credit and debit notes accounts and records returns and other than late fee then payment of tax tax deduction at source collection of tax at source assessment refunds audit inspection search seize seizure and arrest demands and recovery liability to pay in certain cases advance ruling appeal and revision presumptions as to documents offences and penalties job work electronic commerce that is e commerce we know uh, transitional provisions miscellaneous provisions including the provisions relating to the imposition of interest and penalty shall without this and without this apply as far as so far as may be in relation in integrated tax integrated tax as they apply in relation to central tax as if they are enacted under this act so all those provisions are made as far as for all those items so under section 20 they have covered provisions regarding all these how many items are there let me see mm, 20 25 items so provisions are made for these 25 items under section 20 and uh, those provisions are covered under this particular one now we are talking about the next section that is section 25 and here we are talking about the provisions regarding what that we are going to see under this so the below post explains about import of services made on or after the appointment appointment sorry appointed date under section 21 of igst act 2017 as we guys have studied one concept at the beginning at the part of definition that is appointed date so uh, if uh, you know sir if in this particular section that is uh, section 21 provisions are made regarding import of services made on or before sorry on or after the appointed date if import of services services are made by the registered person or registered dealer or registered authority after or that particular date that is called as appoint, appointed day so in that regard certain provisions are made by the authority under section 21 so which provisions are made those provisions we are going to see one by one so as far as provisions are concerned let's look at this what they have made import of services made just a minute okay import of services made on or after the appointed day shall be liable to tax under the provisions of this act regardless of whether the transactions for such import of services had been initiated before the appointed day so see what they have said if such kind of import is made on or after that particular appointed day that particular thing or that particular import is liable to tax under the provisions which are made in this particular section which is 21 so this one is the first one then provided that if the tax on such import of services had been paid in full under the existing law no tax will be uh, will be payable on such import under this act if the amount of tax is paid by the concerned authority or concerned person according to the existing law so kai kai that is the tax bar lessel then 
there is no tax on such kind of imports they mean to say like this then provided further that if the tax on such imports of services had been paid in part under the existing law the balance amount of tax shall be payable on such import of such import under this act if the amount of tax is not fully paid for example they have given you know first in first provision they talked about if the tax full amount of tax is paid then there is no need to pay the tax but the amount of tax is not fully paid or if it is paid in half manner for example then whatever balance amount of tax is that that particular person has to pay on this kind of import and this is what this particular provision is made under section 21 so in section 21 what we guys have studied we have studied if the import of services are made on or after the appointed day what sort of provisions are there there are two provisions first of all whatever import uh, he has made or she has made or the person which which is called as registered person has made on or after appointed day that is liable for tax then again if the amount of tax is liable then there are two provisions if he has paid the amount of tax full according to the existing law then there is no need to pay the tax on that kind of import if the amount second one is if the amount is not fully paid something is in balance so whatever amount of uh, tax is in balance that will be paid on that particular import so this is for import of services made on after the appointed day under section 21 now we are moving on our section number 22 and here we are talking about this particular section and this particular section is basically made for powers to make rules see this section 22 of igst act 2017 has given has uh, you know uh, given some powers to make rules so to whom these powers are given definitely powers are given to the authority to make certain rules regarding or according to this section 22 so section 22 of igst act 2017 explains powers to make rules as below number 1 so how many uh, provisions are there in this regard there are four provisions so i'm going to read those provision at the same time i'm going to explain those four provisions here only so listen number 1 the government may on the recommendations of the council by notification make rules by carrying out the provisions of this act so see there is a right to the government no doubt it is a central government so there is a right for central government to make certain rules why those rules are made those rules are made to carry out the provisions of this act okay so how those provisions are made no doubt government will make and uh, those are made to carry out the provisions of this igst act 2017 but uh, government is not having that enough knowledge how to make those provisions and for this particular purpose government of india or central government has created one council and that council is called as igst council so that igst sorry for extremely sorry gst council so that particular gst council has a right to give some recommendations and that particular council will give recommendation time to time to the central government and on the basis of recommendation recommendations issued from that particular council government will make some certain rules so rules are made on the recommendations of recommendations of central uh, recommendations of council for carrying out the provisions of this act so you guys have to understand uh, three things here government will make the rules government will make the rules on the recommendations of the council and rules are made for carrying out the provisions so three three things we guys have learnt here from this provision number 1 according to section 22 of igst act which is the for powers to make rules moving on to the second uh, provision here and what is that provision without prejudice to the generality generality of the provisions of section 1 the government may make rules for all or any of the matters which by this act are required to be or may be prescribed or in respect of which provisions are to be or may be made by the rules so there is a right according to the provisions of subsection 1 of this particular section so there are certain rights or there is or the central government may make some rules in or for any matters of this act 
so this particular right is given to the central government to make certain rules for any matters of this particular act called igst act moving on to the next provision the power to make rules conferred by this section shall include the power to give respective rest, sorry retro, retrospective retrospective means backdated retrospective means backdated effect to the rules or any of them from a date not earlier than the date on which the provisions of this act come into force so there is one particular right which is given to just a minute ek tum se kaam kar do fakt ek minute hold karta hu पाटिल सर बाकी टॉपिक से एमसीक्यू दिया ना पोरान में गेम टाइम मूल वाट बात कर मूल खूब रिगरली वाट बात है तो ये का टॉप एक टॉपिक से चला है तो इंतज़ाम ना होना ला तुम तक नहीं बारिक था ये पेपर तय है क्या सो आई वाज टॉकिंग विथ योर अकाउंट्स टीचर एंड आई एस्क हिम टू गिव योर एम in this particular things there is a right to the central government to make rules which are enforced retrospective effect so see retrospective means what back dated effect some the other rule as tar ke la se to to apne ma kadon aur suppose usko lau sakte lau ta ye ho sakte kyun applicable karta hai usko when it is happened it is called as retrospective effect and the last one any uh, rules made under subsection one may provide that a contravention thereof of shall be liable to a penalty not exceeding 10000 rupees so here if any rule is not followed sort of controversy controversy is there in that particular rule so there is <coughs> there sorry there is a penalty or that particular registered dealer is liable to pay a penalty not exceeding than 10000 गवर्नमेंट और the authority which is working under the central government that may be called as gst board to make certain notifications by issuing not sorry certain regulations by issuing notifications so see board is there to make regulations regulations are made by issuing notification so that you guys have understood this is what this sentence is given like this the board may by notification make regulations consistent with this act and the rules made there under to carry out the provisions of this act so this is what this particular section is made and from this section number 23 we will be able to understand how the provision how the regulations are made for making the regulations there is one particular board called gst board and uh, by issuing notifications time to time they make necessary regulations according to igst act 2017 So this is a section number twenty-three. Two more sections to go, section twenty-four and twenty-five. So I'm keeping these two sections for tomorrow's lecture, so that we can have a lecture tomorrow. And uh, most important part, tomorrow I'm going to sum up. I'm going to wind up at the same time. I'm going to give you some guidelines for your examination. So be there, and uh, definitely we can have. a uh, very good last lecture tomorrow ask everyone to attend tomorrow session because it is you know last one though they have not attended a single lecture in this year we guys have not seen each other in this year uh, you know so i want to see everyone in last uh, session or that is on tomorrow and one more thing i'm going to take screenshots of tomorrow's lecture so that i can have this batch with me so with this i'm stopping my presentation here and getting back to the home screen if you want to ask something you can so only 19 people have joined so far for today's session so i'll get back to other data uh udya se lecture se vat sasil varsh bhar jala apan padan padin january pasun te 
सप्टेंबर तीस सप्टेंबर उद्या पंचवीस आहे पंचवीस सप्टेंबर पर्यंतचा आपला प्रवास आठ नऊ महिन्याचा प्रवास आणि या प्रवासामध्ये काही लोक अजिबातच फिरकले नाहीत आणि मजा केली पण आता परीक्षामध्ये खरं तर त्यांना खूप चांगली 